All right, let's talk about the fine line. And this is understanding the gray areas of responsibility between Terraform infrastructure as code and third-party configuration management tools like Ansible. So there are cases where uh, when you get outside of AWS, Azure, GCP, you might see pr uh, providers like for Postgres database, and you might say, okay, well, what part of Terraform should be automating it? And so that's a little bit more complicated question because Terraform does more than one thing. So Terraform has providers, modules, and provisioners. And then on outside of that, if we're not even using Terraform, we have third-party configuration management tools that we can use like Ansible. And the thing is, is that you could have An Ansible do everything, but that does not mean that you should have it do everything. And with Terraform, at more or less most of these levels, you can have them do everything, but that doesn't mean that they should, right? So the idea is to try to figure out what should be where and how to define that. So let's talk about creating a database. So if we created a database, that is like setting up a, a new service. So that is going to be under the providers. Uh, and so you'd use the Postgres Terraform provider to set up a database. Now you have users. And so users are an, uh, an entity. They're not just like loose data. So there's something that you can add, remove, add permissions to, and we would treat them as entities. And so it wouldn't necessarily be under the providers, but that's a great place to put it under modules, okay? Then you have your data. So where would the data go? Um, well, data is not necessarily an entity. It's just a bunch of data. So I would say that that is for provisioners that can run random scripts. And then when we want to do things like backup tables to data warehouses or truncate da data uh, uh, daily tables, things that are re repetitive tasks, that is what we're going to use Ansible for or a third-party configuration management tool outside of Terraform. You wouldn't have Terraform do that stuff at all. So when you have a task done one time to set up the database, like seeding data, it's going to go in provisioners. When you have repeatable tasks for ongoing maintenance, it's going to be out as a third-party provider. And if you have something that is like identified as an identity, like as a resource that you want to manage, like asset management, uh, which are these things. These are going to be uh, over here in providers and modules. And I do want to point out that a per, uh, provisioner can be using Ansible, but you'd still want to use Ansible or a third-party configuration management tool, uh, uh, isolate or separate to do these kind of things. You do not want Terraform running these, okay?